Now we have <coughs> 2004 Resident Evil Apocalypse. Oh boy. And bring up the director because... Um, Alexander Witt. So, Alexander Witt, this is the only film he's ever done, <laughs> either before or after. So you can see, <laughs> you can kind of guess how... How oh, Resident Evil Apocalypse went. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so, so first of all, because I, I kind of did a little, a little tiny bit of research, mm -hmm. he was uh, uh, like a camera operator for James Cameron. Yeah, so he's done a lot of like second unit directing work on a number of like big films. Um, I can't remember any off the top of my head. If you scroll down, let me see. There's a Gladiator, Remember the Titan, yeah. Cannibal, Inspector Gadget. Yeah, uh, speed. speed. Speed's great. I love Speed. Speed, uh, Daredevil, Daredevil. Uh, 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 Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's another thing we have to add to the list. Oh, wow. um, uh, but he's done, yeah, so he's done a lot of second unit directing. But this is his directorial debut, and it's the only film he ever directed by himself. Which, you know what? I'm going to take the hottest take. Okay. This is the one I like the most. I agree. Yeah. So, I, I do think it is like objectively worse than the first film. Oh yeah, it's way it, worse. But it is Fun. way more enjoyable. It's it's it, it's way. I I mean yeah, we're we're laughing at the movie, not with it. <laughs> okay. But that does make for more overall enjoyment of the film as a whole. So the plot synopsis of this movie is, remember the obvious sequel bait about how that guy was being taken to the Nemesis Project? Guess what this movie is about? It's an adaptation of Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. But once again, just like the zombies in the last movie, Nemesis doesn't come in until like halfway through. Yeah, instead it's just people freaking out because, like the plot of Resident Evil 2 and 3, they shut down Raccoon City, so everyone's trapped inside of it. Now we actually get a few characters we recognize, such as Jill and um, Carlos. And, yep, and Carlos. Um, J Jill looks on point. Carlos, they got a, a, a Swedish guy to play a Hispanic man. Yeah, Odin Fair. Yep, a very. You know, I, 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 I should. We should bring up the thing um, that I texted you about that movie. Was it the the Jill is? Yeah. Okay. So, so when I was when I was watching this movie, I was I was sitting up up in my uh, up in our movie room in my house. I'm just texting Howard. I go, not gonna lie, movie Jill's kind of hot. And you text me back immediately. You were like, shut up. I was just thinking that because I guess no. you were looking at the yeah, Netflix. Yeah, no, I just finished Resident <laughs> Evil 1. And then I looked at the screen. I'm like, I don't remember. I never watched the sequel. So I looked mm -hmm. at the trailer and I see Jill. I'm like, oh, Jill's kind of ding. <laughs> and I look down and he texted me that immediately. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're so in sync. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> um. but, but um yeah, so so <laughs> so Jill and Carlos are in the yeah. movie. So Resident Evil Lockdown. It's and but guys, guess what? Alice is here to stay. The yeah. Paul W. S. Anderson O. C. character is here to stay. So essentially, the zombies are also happening, and just like in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Nemesis is around hunting for STARS members. They and don't ever say why. They don't say why. Be because, as, as, I mean, as far as we know, nothing in the, you know, the Spencer Mansion stuff happened. Yeah. That, that, that is never brought up. Also, he kind of gives up at the halfway point to chase Alice. Yeah. Which, you know, leaving Jill alive, and Jill was a STARS member, so... <laughs> it's a little unclear as to what is going on there. Yeah, um... It's, it's really corny, so essentially it's like the first chunk of the movie is like Jill and Carlos kind of just trying to survive while the apocalypse is happening in Raccoon City, and then they get trapped at a church, and then like a, a seven-year-old writing his OC about how he would save Naruto <laughs> during the pain arc, Jill literally Kool-Aid mans through the church window, motorcycle, two guns, dual wielding akimbo, mm -hmm. fighting off, I think it was liquors it was again? Liquor, yeah. yeah, yeah, a liquor super easily. Cause now Alice is a super soldier. Yeah. She has superhuman strength and reflexes and can fight everyone because mm -hmm. of the virus that she got in the first movie. Um, and she saves Jill and Jill goes, 
wow, Alice, aren't you the coolest character around? Which I, I laughed so hard because I cannot imagine in, a, in, a, in, a, in one of the highest grossing <laughs> video game film franchises of all time, writing an OC, saving the main character of one of the video games, then having them go, wow, OC, aren't you the bee's knees? You're way cooler than me. And I'm like, don't. And again, Paul W.S. Anderson didn't even direct this one. Yeah, this is Alexander Witt. Yeah. So <laughs> He probably wrote. He was the, I'm sure he was an executive producer on it. I don't uh, know if he wrote it. Paul uh, uh, W.S. Anderson did write it. He wrote all right, he them. wrote it. He wrote all of them. Okay. Not surprising. Okay. But, uh, I, I, to, again, it, it's, I'll, I'll give them this much. Like they, I feel like they do do a pretty decent job adapting Resident Evil 2 and 3. Like, it, like the plot yeah. beats are pretty much the same. I mean, we don't have... Um, I'm blanking on his name. No, the guy who's who who, who mutates. The guy who mutates. Who made oh, the G virus? Two? Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot his name. But yeah, I know what you're talking oh about. Oh my god. I literally forgot his name. What is his name? This is bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> this really is so bad. bad. Okay, in our defense, the boss fights were kind of mid with him. Um, that's fair. Bad, hold on. Um, um, zombie guy oh, from Resident uh, <laughs> Evil. Uh, I will, all I'm Marvin? Is G. No, not Marvin. Not Marvin. Dude, fucking Marvin's the main man. Marvin's not the, the guy I'm thinking of. Hold on. Uh, oh my god, what is his name? He, no, that's Mr. X. It's the guy, he, it's the guy who Neil McDonough plays in Welcome to Raccoon City. Yeah, uh, uh, list of bosses. Sorry, this is Adam. This so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Right now, okay, hold on. Birkin. Birkin. Oh, my Jesus. His name's Birkin. William Birkin. Yes. So we have, William Birkin is not in the film, but Jared Harris is playing basically Birkin. Like, he's the one who, like, made the virus. His daughter is, like, stuck in the city. I don't know why they didn't just make him William Birkin, but... I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean that that character archetype is still in the movie, and, so I think they did a pretty good job. And like, of course, we got to give shout outs. Nemesis does not look like hot garbage. No, it, he looks he's, he he looks a little small, but I think I think that's mostly due to the fact that it's a practical suit. Yeah, it's a literal suit. They actually did a really good job with yeah, Nemesis. and it's you know it's it's hard to make because Nemesis is, is probably what like. Eight feet tall, yeah, canonically. He's a, he's a big guy. It's hard to make like a physical human being look eight feet tall, unless you put him on stilts. I guess they could have done that. But. They, they, it's, it's too much work. Yeah. It looked good. Yeah, looked no, good. it looked very good. I mean, the the more human looking eye looked a little odd, but like yeah. other than that, it looked great. But when I saw the human eye, I guessed where the plot was going <laughs> in an instant. Oh yes, so hundred percent. So after uh, I guess we can go down the plot. After yeah. Nemesis hunts down uh, Alice after eliminating a bunch of random stars people, mm -hmm. um, he captures Alice in the in the uh, and uh, they basically have a. <laughs> they try to go to the helicopter. That blow that that at, that's at the end of RE3. They try mm -hmm. to find the safe haven helicopter. But of course, Umbrella is there waiting to execute everyone. Our main everyone. bad guy, who I don't know his name. Yeah, main bad guy. I wonder if that that that, that. If, if he's Birkin or something. Uh, Charles. Ed, uh, um, he's, I don't think his name really matters. Uh, who cares? He just... But he's yeah. Anyways, he's he's going like, hey, Alice, you're so cool. What if we make you fight Nemesis to the death? And and she, and then he goes, and do you know why? Because. You are Nemesis, like he is Nemesis. You're both from the Nemesis program. <laughs> so, and that's when you get the plot twist of the environmentalist guy that they took for the Nemesis project is Nemesis. Whoa, who Whoa. could have seen that coming? Bazinga, can you believe it? And so then they have a fight to the death, but Nemesis remembers he was the environmental guy who wanted to go out on a date with Alice or something. So he feigns the fight and fights Umbrella so that Everyone can escape. Yay. Um, and then... Um, uh, Raccoon City blows up. Uh, wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, no. Uh, yeah, Raccoon City blows yeah. up. And then... They, they, everyone escapes. Uh, Jill, Carlos, that other guy. 
Oh, oh, the, the LJ, I think is his name. Something like that. The that character. Yeah, he's. And then he's Alice there, no. got. She Capture? gets kidnapped by Umbrella again. Again. She breaks out. Now she like has like actual superpowers. She has like telekinesis now. Yeah, also she her eyelids literally turn into the umbrella logo, yeah. and that's the obvious sequel bait. Yeah, they so they, they have more sequel bait because they have um I can remember this guy's name. Uh the, the villain for the next movie, he's like, Oh hello Alice, you're awake. You're back. And then she's like, Hey, fuck you. <laughs> and she escapes. And then um, Carlos, LJ, and um, Jill. Jill are there, and they're like, "Hey, Alice, come with us." And it's 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 not clear what they do with that, which is an issue we are going to get into. Um, th but it's, I mean, I took it to think, oh, they're doing the BSAA. But they, they don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't. Um, just, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it when we cover the next film. So what do you feel, com I'm comfortable with, again, this one's a C. I'm comfortable I, with that. I, I want to give it a B just because I enjoyed it more. Okay. Like a low B. You know what? I'm okay <laughs> with with Resident Evil Apocalypse getting a B. I'm okay Spoiler with that. Spoiler alert. That is the best. That B. is the highest any of these is going to get is a B. There, is, there are no A's. There are no S's. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.